the readings, Divine Radiance. How are you today? I am Nikila Asha of Ash for Scott Life Sculpting. I'm a divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor, assisting you with activating the divinity and wisdom within your soul so that you are empowered to create and live an abundant life. So today, I was led to get on and talk to you for a minute because I must admit that my heart has been heavy. It has been heavy because of the state of the world. It's been heavy because of the state of the world. And listen, what we're witnessing right now, it's nothing new. This has been going on in one way, shape, or form since the beginning of time. And what's happening now is we are more aware because of social media. We are more aware because of cell phones. We are more aware because people are now speaking up. But this is nothing new. And so I asked Spirit to guide me, right? To guide me. Um, because there's a few things that uh, I was led to address. Number one, one of the things that I realized a few years ago, before I really was consciously aware of uh, my spiritual ascension, right? Uh, before I made the choice to awaken, I watched a documentary and for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of that documentary. But what I will say is when I watched it, I realized as corrupt and evil that I thought the government was, I had no idea, no idea. And um, in that moment, I will tell you, I was afraid, right? I was afraid. My son's grandfather used to always talk about um, stocking up on food and water and, you know, um, just having everything just in case. And in that moment, I was like, oh, the new world order is happening and oh, martial law and all these things, right? And I was, I was afraid. It took me a minute to gather myself. And at that time, a minute for me was longer than a minute for me now because I hadn't healed, right? And so anyways, what I discovered as a result of watching that documentary was the fact that what this all boils down to is what some would call good, versus what some would call evil, right? Some call it high vibrational energies, frequencies, entities, and low vibrational frequencies, energies, and entities. There are so many layers to this that in this one video, I can't even begin to uh, peel back all the layers and share with you uh, the things that I have been brought to know or understand or things the spirit has revealed. But again, I ask spirit to guide me. So whatever is brought forth today is what is meant to be brought forth today. Um, one of the things that I'd like to touch on is magic, right? So many of us have been taught to fear magic, whether we practice magic, whether we know someone who does, um, we've been taught to fear it. But in reality, those that are running this world, right, this world are practicing magic. Now, magic in and of itself is not evil. It's not bad. It's not dark, right? It's none of those things. What makes magic what magic is, is the person practicing and their intentions, right? We have been conditioned to fear anything that empowers us, anything that strengthens us, right? So when we are dealing with a system that is practicing in magic, right, the occult, and we are relying on what they gave us as our source of strength and our source of power. It's like showing up to a gunfight with a pebble, right? With a pebble. This world has been designed to systematically keep us from our light, keep us from our power, and keep us from love systematically, and it has been covered on every ground, right? We have religion, right? We have racism, we have sexism, we have classism, right? We have 
those of us that uh, don't fall under any of those categories, we have drugs, right? We have, we have so many alcohol, so many things, right? That are meant to take us away from our power. And so many of us, we attach to different forms of the many distractions that have been placed before us and we fight for those things as a cause. Now, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, it's important for us to understand the root. And the root and the fact is, we are in a battle of good versus evil. Good versus evil. All of those things that I mentioned is a byproduct of that, right? There are so many times that there are things that happen in the world and I don't ever say anything. I don't say anything because I'm not guided by spirit to say anything. And I refuse to let anyone or anything make me feel bad for that, right? And when I'm guided by spirit and I am led to say something, I refuse to let anyone or anything make me feel bad about that, right? I allow spirit to guide me. And the thing I am being guided to say to you today is that it is time for us to take a stand. It is time for us to unite. But that stand and that unity may not look like or be like what you think. We are being called to activate our magic. We're being called to call on our ancestors. We're being called to show up and fight their hate with love. My heart is heavy. My heart is heavy. And what I'd like to say to you today is this. Do your best not to fall victim to anger. Do your best not to be overcome with grief. Do your best not to be sucked into the web that has been spun for you. Allow yourself to stand firm and be rooted in your power, to stand firm and be rooted in your strength. Your power and your strength is love. Love. Now with that being said, I'm not saying to turn the other cheek and allow that one to be slapped too. No, 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 no. If you follow me on social media, you would have seen the post where I made it clear. I am anti-violent, but I am not non-violent. And what that means is I despise violence. I will not be a violent individual unless there is an immediate threat to me or mine. And in that case, I will meet you where you are. I will meet you where you are and vibrate at the frequency of love and light. Because there is no part of self-love that means accept abuse. There is no part of self-love that means allow yourself to be put in harm's way. Now here's the thing. I have myself and all those that I love shielded in energetic protection, shielded. I have called on the most powerful highest light and love beings, including my ancestors, to protect me and mine. And I encourage you to do the same thing. I encourage you to utilize your voice, but to allow that voice to be guided by spirit, to be guided by the divine. I encourage you to use your platform to not further the agenda, which is hate, chaos, confusion, and lack of peace. I encourage you to use your voice for love. And I encourage you to use your magic for protection and power and peace. Now again, hear me when I say, I'm not telling you to lay down. and allow your life to be taken. My peaceful stance does not include self-sacrifice. 
without a fight. My peaceful stance says, understand who you are, understand what you're dealing with, and allow spirit to guide you on how to proceed. The reason why we have been so unsuccessful at this battle that we've been in since the beginning of time is because the system is systematically designed to keep us from truth, to keep us from our power, to keep us disconnected, to keep us from love. Look how much energy is poured into teaching us how to hate ourselves. And I'm not just speaking about those who have incarnated and are experiencing life as a black man, woman, or child, right? In this lifetime. I mean, in general. And if we can't love ourselves, we cannot love anyone else or anything else. It's impossible. It's impossible. So as we choose to awaken, as we choose to embrace our inner divinity, as we choose to connect and to place ego aside and choose to be guided, we will know exactly what we're dealing with and we will know exactly how to fight this. But we're stronger in numbers. We're stronger in numbers. So right now for some of you, Spirit is using me right now to remind you, don't get caught up. Don't allow your vibration to be lowered. I am giving myself permission to feel my emotions, but I refuse to give my power away. I refuse to give my power away. Release the things you've been taught to fear. Think about everything you've been taught and dissect it and release and reject anything that does not resonate with you on a soul level. Allow yourself to connect to your divinity within. It's time to go beneath the surface. It's time to lift the veil. It's time to see what's really going on. I share this with my family the other day and I was on uh, Instagram and I saw where Six Flags is opening again, right? And um, out of everything that they're saying is taking place and happening, that's so ridiculous. You look at it and you think, is this a joke, right? But it's not, it's serious. It's the way that they're attempting to shift the world into being. But the thing that stood out was cashless transaction, right? Cashless transactions. Now, me, my younger son, my bonus dad, and my mom, we all had coronavirus at the end of last year, and we all recovered, and so many of us had coronavirus before we knew it was coronavirus, before the fear was pumped throughout the collective, right? And because we didn't look at it as a death sentence, most of us healed from it, right? But now our psyche is afraid and our psyche is thinking, oh no, I'm going to die. Definitely, maybe, or possibly. Vibrations lower, immune system weaker, we're being controlled, right? Now we have all of these things happening in the world, the violence, the deaths coming up again, right? The protests, the reactions, the fear, the anger, the hate, the sadness, the chaos, the confusion, the lack of peace, right? And we ask ourselves, why now? What are they attempting to distract us from now? Think about it. Cashless transactions, new world order, martial law, right? I don't know about you, but how many of you have family members or you yourself have a safe, a floorboard, or a mattress, or a hole in the wall or some other secret space that you store the majority of your money, right? Now, when we take away the ability to utilize cash, cashless transactions, right? The coronavirus is now making it to where it's dangerous to have cash transactions. When that's gone, 
and they control our dollars, they control everything. This is why it's time for us to start growing our own food. This is why it's time for us to have ownership. And I'm not just talking about black ownership. I'm talking about light worker ownership. I'm talking about love and light ownership. I'm talking about ownership amongst any one of us that is for justice, love, light, peace, harmony, balance. Right? Because when we can be self-sufficient, then we have control. And until we get in a position of having that outward control, it's time for us to have our inner control. And it's one person at a time. I encourage you to call on your ancestors of highest light and love. I encourage you to call on your guides, your angels, the archangels, your companions, your helpful companions of highest light and love in every dimension, realm, time, and space. I encourage you to call on them to make you strong, to show you the way, to increase your peace, to raise your vibration, and to destroy anything that is not of love and light. We cannot fight this fight with guns. And by saying that, I'm not saying protect yourself, because let me tell you, Spirit told me to arm myself just in case. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Right? But what I am saying is this. It's time for us to understand we cannot win this battle with guns. We cannot win this battle with looting. We cannot win this battle with protesting. We cannot win this battle with anger. We cannot win this battle allowing them to direct and guide our emotions and our actions. It's time for us to connect with spirit. It's time for us to connect with God. It's time for us to connect with the divine. It's time for us to connect with Allah, Jehovah, Jah, Jesus, whatever is your highest source of power of love and light, it is time to connect. It is time for you to connect with your inner divinity so you can see truth regardless of what's being shown. So you can hear truth regardless of what's being said. And so you can feel and know truth, regardless of what's being presented to you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you feel what I'm saying? The pain that I feel, the heaviness of my heart, I'm allowing myself to feel it but I refuse to give my power away. Some people don't speak up, don't judge them. Some people don't march or protest, don't judge them. Some people do, don't judge them. Don't judge other beings for how they choose to be or not to be. Focus on picking the weeds from your yard. Focus on planting the flowers in your yard. Focus in growing the fruit in your yard. Be the example that you like to see without judging others, right? Because let me tell you, as a Black woman, many may feel like I am obligated to use my platform in certain ways. And as a light worker, many may feel like I'm obligated to use my platform in certain ways. But as a spiritual being who has dedicated my life to serving the divine and to serving light and love and help shifting the collective, I use my platform how spirit guides me to use my platform. And I encourage you to do the same. And if you are someone that is being led to speak, whether it's making a phone call and talking to your friend, your neighbor, your sister, your brother, your mother, your cousin, whether it is getting on social media and going live, whether it's writing a letter, whatever you are called to do, you may be called to protest. Whatever you are called to do, do it from a place of love, light, and power. Do it from the understanding that 
No one can dictate how you serve. No one can dictate how you contribute. That's between you and spirit. That's between you and the divine. That's between you and your God. My heart is heavy. My heart is heavy. And I'm gonna tell you, we will not end this problem if we don't first heal ourselves. If we don't first connect with the divine. If we don't stop being afraid of spirituality, if we don't release the confinements of religion, if we don't learn to embrace everyone, division is a part of the plan. Separation is a part of the plan. Why do you think this social distancing when you wear that mask, you can't see a person smile? They're dehumanizing us. Don't allow it. When you heal, you elevate. When you elevate, you grow. When you connect to spirit, you become fearless. And as that's coming through, spirit is saying, it's not that fear doesn't exist, but it doesn't stop you. It doesn't hinder you. It doesn't stagnate you. Because here's the thing, when you're guided by the divine, you know, if I'm being guided, I'm protected. And if I'm being guided, whatever happens serves my highest good and the highest good of those that I'm called to serve. I dedicate my life to my purpose and to my calling. I dedicate my life to helping you connect to your divinity, see your power, and find your light, passion, and purpose. And when spirit tells me to move, I move no matter how that looks, feels, seems to anyone. It don't even have to make sense to me. But if spirit guides me, I do what I'm guided to do, period. There is no in-between. There is no in between. And when we can get to that point where we're guided by spirit and not by fear, we're guided by spirit and not by society, we're guided by spirit and not outside forces, this is when we are now able to fight. This is when we are now able to change the state of the world. You hear what I'm saying? It's deeper, it's deeper than what we see. It's deeper than what most of us know. Don't be distracted. Heal yourself, elevate yourself, connect yourself, be guided no matter what. This is how we make a difference. This is how we make a difference. My heart is heavy. My heart is heavy, but I will not give my power away. I will not give my power away. I will not love any less. I will not smile any less. I will not live any less. And I will not hate. That's too much energy and attention. I will call on powers beyond this realm to protect and shield. I will call on powers beyond this realm to provide and guide, right? I will call on powers beyond this realm to stop the violence. I will call on powers beyond this realm to end the suffering, right? But I will not give my power away. My heart is heavy, but I will not give my power away. I know who I am. I know who I am as a woman. I know who I am as a black woman. I know who I am as a mother. I know who I am as a sister, a daughter, a friend. I know who I am as a significant other. I know who I am as a cousin. I know I am who I am as a leader. I know who I am as a servant of the light. I know who I am as a spiritual being. I know who I am as a child of the divine. I know who I am as the divine having a human experience and I refuse to give my power away. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? My heart is heavy, but I will not give my power away. So heal. Release the anger. Feel your feelings. Don't vibrate at that frequency. Don't vibrate at that frequency. You understand what I'm saying? What they give you is for a reason. What they teach you is for a reason. What they show you is for a reason. Heal, elevate, connect, and refuse to give your power away. We have a calling. We have a calling. Spirit has been telling us to heal ourselves, to love ourselves, to serve ourselves, right? Because this world is corrupt. And it's people like you and it's people like me that are going to make a difference. And as we heal, as we elevate, and as we refuse to give our power away, we can help others do the same. But it starts with self. It starts with self. Stop watching the news. Disconnect from whatever you must disconnect from so that your vibration isn't lower. Put all your attention and your focus into your healing, into your growth, into your elevation, into your connection, and refuse to give your power away. You have been called to serve. Answer your calling. Step into the light. Do what you came here to do. If you are sharing things that perpetuate hate and anger, you're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying, you're part of the problem. We must come with a solution that does not include us giving our power away. When we lower our vibration, we are giving our power away. It's so much deeper. It's so much deeper. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to connect. It's time for us to call on energies beyond this realm, energies of highest light and love. It's time for us to protect those that we love. It's time for us to protect the collective. It's time for us to shield from anything that is not of love and light. It's time for us to understand the game that they're playing and release the distraction and play the game better. Because here's the thing, there is nothing that is stronger than love. There is nothing that is stronger than light. And that's why this world has been designed to disconnect you and me from that. Because when we fully embrace and step into our light, we are empowered beyond the hate, beyond the evil, beyond the chaos, beyond the separation, beyond the murders. But it starts here. It starts with self. So I feel better, but my heart is still heavy. But I refuse to give my power away. And I am calling on you. I'm calling on you to do your part. I'm calling on you to remember who you are as a spiritual being. I'm calling on you to understand how to safely connect with guides and ancestors and angels and archangels and healers and protectors of realms beyond this one of light and love. I'm calling on you to do your part. I'm calling on you to see the truth, to know the truth, to remember the truth. I'm calling on you. My soul has been called by yours to remind you, to awaken you, to jolt you, to encourage you, to motivate you, to redirect you, to remember how to win this battle, how to win this fight, and how to create change and shift. My heart is heavy, but I refuse to give my power away. My heart is heavy but I refuse to give my power away. I am a mother of two black men in America and I am not afraid because why? My children are shielded. My children are protected by energies beyond this realm. And no man, woman, or child is stronger than the protection that's wrapped around my children and those that I love. I encourage you to do the same. Feel your feelings. 
They refuse to give your power away. I encourage you to spread this message by sharing this video. I encourage you to spread the message by creating your own videos and sharing those and encouraging others to share those. Our hearts are heavy, but let's not give our power away. The time is now to stand up, to heal self, to love self, and to make a difference. I love you for being you. I love you because you are a reflection of me and I am a reflection of the divine and we are one. I love me so I am able to love you. I believe in me so I believe in you. We can do this. We can make a difference. So that's all I have. That's all I have. If spirit places anything else on my heart, I will for sure share it. And I encourage you to do the same. Share this video, share it. Encourage others to heal and do their part. It's time. Refuse to give your power away. I thank you. I thank you so much. And I leave you with peace, love, bliss, abundance, power, and protection. I'll talk to you soon.